So my thing on productivity is you start with the most important things first, right? So I think part of stoicism is just this acceptance that a big chunk of stuff's outside of your control. And you accept that the day is gonna have chaos, there's gonna be interruptions, things are gonna go wrong. So with that being the case, I wanna tackle the important things as early as possible, right? So I'm prepared for when that goes wrong. Seneca's thing of premeditatio malorum, a premeditation of the evils or accidents or the Murphy's Law that's likely to interrupt you. To me, that's what I do. So I wanna win the morning and that's how you win the day. I think if you get the important stuff done early, you get it done right, you are insulated from the swings of fortune. You know, Seneca talks about, he's like, never underestimate uh, fortune's habit of doing exactly as she pleases. My day is built around that reality. So I do my important stuff early, I get it done, I get up early, I work hard without interruptions. To me, procrastination is like arrogance. It's like, oh, I will get to it later. You don't know you're gonna get to it later. Like, I mean, even there's the memento mori idea of like, look, you could be dead. But I, I just mean more like, I, I know I have time now, so I'm gonna do that now. I don't know that I'm gonna have time later, so I'm not gonna assume that I do. So that's like a big part of my productivity. The other part, I think, is like, what do you not do? So Marcus Aurelius is like, ask yourself with everything that happens, like, is this necessary? Is this essential? And the truth is most things are not essential. Seneca talks about how we are really protective of our property, intellectual or physical, but then we just let people steal our time like crazy, like we have an unlimited amount of it. Your neighbor can come waste your time and you won't say anything because you don't want to be rude. But if he you know, built a shed on your back, uh, you know, on part of your backyard, you'd lose your mind. So you don't know how many hours you're gonna get this year. You don't know how many days you're gonna get. So pr be protective of that time, but then also be respectful and protective of other people's time. So asking yourself, is this necessary? Not just assuming that because everyone is doing something or the way other people are doing it is the way it's always been done, is the way to do it. That question to me is, is really important. So I say no a lot. You have to say no a lot because if you don't, Every time you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to something else. So I want to say no to things so I can say yes to the things that matter. And I think that's how the Stoics thought about productivity advice. Morning routines are all the rage. You know, I've talked about mine a bunch of times. It, it is true. I think if you win the morning, you can sort of win your day. Um, but, but what about the evening ritual? Seneca talks about this almost more explicitly than the Stoics talk about their morning routines. He says, you know, at, in the evenings, after my wife has gone to bed, I have this habit. I sit down and I put the day up for review. Basically, he sat down and he would ask himself questions. He's like, did you get better today? Where did you fall short? Did you do what you said you were gonna do? And this sort of, this sort of review, this reflection on the day past is how he kind of brings the, the books of that day close, like to bring them up to date. And so when the Stoics talk about journaling, it's not just journaling in the morning. The, the morning journaling is like, who do I wanna be? What, what am I trying to do today? What's important? What should I think about? What should I be ready for? The evening journaling, the evening routine is, where did I fall short? What could I have done better? Did I do what I said? Where am I making progress? You know, what's going well? And that sort of interrogation of oneself, I think is really, really valuable. Marcus really talks about sleep a lot. So, you know, I think he, he struggled with sleep. So he kind of had a love-hate relationship with it. But I, I think the Stoics would have been amazed that, you know, we're like mainlining television and text messages and video all the way up until we're supposed to just magically fall asleep. And then, then we complain that, you know, we're not well rested. I think the idea of kind of winding down reading, Cato was famous for having sort of long conversations. He would drink a little wine, he would debate philosophy. This is very different than, you know, just watching, you know, CNN until you drift off to sleep. So I think part of that sort of reflection ritual, but then also some of those other things is about kind of the winding down, bringing a gradual, but, but you know, intentional close to the day is really important. So in, in, that's in mind. I, I don't sleep with my phone in the room. You know, I try to read before bed. I, I don't stay up late. Don't have a television in my bedroom. Like th those sort of things are just little choices you can make that set you up to, I think, have a better close to the day and then set up a more philosophical tomorrow. 
who are your heroes? So Seneca talks about finding yourself a Cato, like finding a ruler to measure yourself, to make yourself straight against is really important. And in, I think, book six of Meditations, Marcus Aurelius talks about, he's like, nothing is better than seeing the wisdom or the lessons of the people you admire laid out in front of you. So those heroes, that the people he opens Meditations talking about, he's not writing that in Meditations for them, he's writing it for him. He wants to remember what he was taught by the people who taught it to him. He wants to meditate on their examples and that makes him better. That's one of the reasons we made that, that Marcus Aurelius bust for Daily Stoic, is like, that sits on my desk. I look at it as I'm writing and I'm reminded of Marcus Aurelius' example and it inspires me, it shames me, it makes me better. Hey, thanks for watching Daily Stoic. If you want to learn more about Stoicism, you can check out some of our other videos here. Subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Keep learning, keep studying, and remember those four Stoic virtues, courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom.